All right, this video is going to go over why we use PRZ and um, synthetic division and how you can graph something like this equation that if you tried to factor by grouping, it would not work. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Basically, if you find a polynomial function that does not factor, you need to immediately list out the PRZ. So if you don't know how to do that, go watch the previous video. But basically, I would list out the PRZ of this first. So plus minus, um, let's see, we got one, two, four, five, 10, and 20. All right, so those are the potential rational zeros. What that means is there are the possible x-intercepts. Like five would be a possible x-intercept. Don't forget there's a plus minus in there too. So like negative two could be a possible x-intercept, a possible zero, all right? Those are, that's what these numbers represent. Um, to find out which one is actually your x-intercept, you have to run synthetic division. with these numbers until you find one that works. So like I generally start with one or negative one, but let me go ahead and run you through like if I started with two. If I started with a two here, it would look like this. You see how when I ran it with two, I had a remainder? That means positive two is not one of my zeros. It's not possible. So if you do this and you end up with a remainder, you need to restart and try a different number. So like this time, let's try um, negative five. Okay, I plugged in negative five and I got a zero remainder. This means negative five is one of my factors. I mean, one of my zeros. So once you found one that works, you can rewrite this synthetic division answer. And you can try to factor it. And it worked. So this is basically factored form of this polynomial. Just don't make the mistake that everybody makes. Uh, everybody always forgets this factor. So um, this factor would be, let me do it in green, that way you don't mistake it would be x plus five it's one of the factors so this red box is the same as this equation in standard form now that it's in factored form you should be able to go and put it on the graph so start with your x-intercepts there's one at one there's one at negative four and there's one at negative five Scale doesn't matter when you're drawing these, so don't really think too much into that. You do, however, need your y-intercept. I get it from the standard form equation, zero, 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 negative 20 is my y-intercept. So I'd put that on the graph as well. And then now I could realize this is a positive cubic function. So my arrows are gonna be down, up, and then I could just draw it. At each of these factors, you're cutting straight through because they all have exponents of one. So it'd look like this. And I'd be done. So remember, I used PRZ because this standard form equation did not factor. I went and found a number that worked in synthetic division, in this case, negative five. Um, 
Also be advised, one would have worked in this green circle. One would have worked, negative four would have worked. So it's not always just one that works um, or one of these numbers that works. Sometimes a, a bunch of these numbers work. Let's look at the next problem. I would look at this and realize it does not factor by grouping. So I would list out the PRZ. Don't forget your plus minus. And the PRZ of this one is going to be 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, now I need to kind of try synthetic division until I find one that works. Um, so let's just try 1 first because I told y'all that's what I generally start with is one or minus one. Okay, on this one, when I ran one, I got a remainder. So that means one is not one of the zeros. It's not one of my x-intercepts. I need to try a different number. So let's try three. Okay, I tried three and I got a zero remainder. So that means three is a x-intercept. And that means that three is uh, one of my factors. So I would write it x minus three as one of my factors when I write this in factored form. Now, since I got zero remainder, I can rewrite this as a quadratic and try to factor it x squared minus 5x plus 2 does not factor. This is kind of worst case scenario. If this happens to you, you're going to have to run the quadratic equation, which looks like this. All right, so run this through the quadratic equation. You would get this. Five plus minus the root of 17 over two. So to technically write this thing in factored form, I would have my x minus 3, don't forget that one, and then I've got x minus this right here. There will be two of them, one with a 5 plus, one with a 5 minus, so it would look like this, parentheses, 5 plus root 17 over 2, and then one where it's 5 minus root 17 over 2, like that. So this right here would be considered factored, this polynomial from before factored. All right, now to graph this, um, I'm going to have a x-intercept at 5 plus root 17 over 2, which is going to be, I don't know, here. Let's do it in red. And then I would have one at 5 minus root 17 over 2, like that. Okay, I've got all my x-intercepts down. Get your y-intercept down. Your y-intercept here, look at your original equation. Make everything with an x zero. So my y-intercept is negative six. Call that here. And so this equation is going to look kind of like this. So the key takeaway is 
If it does not factor, the polynomial does not factor, you must run PRZ. Don't forget the plus minus. After you run PRZ, you try those numbers in synthetic division until you find one that gives you a remainder of zero. Once it tells you remainder zero, that means that's one of your x-intercepts and you can write it as one of your factors. Sometimes they'll give you the remaining part of it as factorable and it's super easy. Sometimes the remaining part of it will not factor. You'll have to run the quadratic equation and then plot those as x-intercepts on the graph. Uh, and one more thing, if I had run this quadratic equation and say I got an i root 17, then I would not put those x-intercepts on the graph. It would only be the three. Uh, that wasn't the case in this scenario. So hope this video helped.